Hey everyone, I'm Zarina, and this first song I'm going to do is an original, and it's basically like a self-confidence song for girls, because a lot of girls feel like they're not good enough, so this is called Fiction. For me, baby, I can just keep talking to you. And here we are, back again in business. Thank you for coming back. I got your CD right here. This is very sweet. I have your mama taking pictures. I have your dad back there. I have Dwayne Harris walking around, making sure that things are done properly. If not, he's going to yell and scream very loud. OK, this is Serena Lupo to CC. Thank you so much, love, Serena. Sweet. Love you, baby. Thank you for coming back. And our very special guest tonight. I don't know if he needs an introduction. And I'm melting with those eyes, and I'm trying to pick you up. Anthony Austin, the CEO and creator of En La Escena. En La Escena. I like that. I didn't know you speak Spanish. Yo hablo español. Like, hablo español, ¿qué tan seguido? <laughs> o hablamos en español o hablamos en inglés? O sea, hablamos en inglés. Hablamos en inglés. You see, it's very nice when people are reaching out for another language. Isn't that sweet? I that's, mean, that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, Obama is learning Spanish, <laughs> and Hillary Clinton is, and Bill Clinton, as far as I'm concerned, they're taking Spanish lessons on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. Okay, Austin, we have a lot to cover. Yes. 
You were born in the south of England, correct? It's south of a town called Redden. Uh, right. Well, actually, Wokingham, but Wokingham. I lived in Redden. Right. Wokingham. Wokingham. Right. I like that correction. <laughs> Keep correcting me as much as you want, baby. It doesn't turn me up. In fact, it turns me on. Okay, you study television and radio broadcasting. Here in New York. Here in New York, mm -hmm. Brooklyn College. Brooklyn College, BMCC in Brooklyn College. I actually started out in music. Right. I started out, I'm a um, certified audio engineer. So I started doing music first. So you were certified? Oh my God. So I did the music first and then I discovered video. Right. And I'm a visual person, so I decided I went to, wanted to do video, so that's how I got into television. That's very interesting. Audio engineer. Mm -hmm. So you know everything about sound? Um, pretty much. Pretty much. I used to play, I played piano, I used to write music, I sung a little bit. Uh huh. But that was back in, back in England. And then I came yeah, here England. and I tried to do the same thing here. It was a big transition from you from England and here. Different culture, All different together. culture, what language. What's the most shocking thing when you came here? English. Yeah. <laughs> trying to understand American Sorry. English. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! But now you, but by now you're fine. Right, but I had to change the way I spoke also because my English is different from American English. Right. So which one I'm getting now? You're getting American. the both. More, both. A little, a little bit, bit of both. I've been here a while. Right. For a long time. Yeah. For a long time. So putting all the work together, in 2001, you formed a company called Caribbean American News, News Network. Network. Right. Interesting. Basically what that was, um, most countries have a satellite station here, and they feed whatever goes on within their community right. back to the country. My family is originally from the Caribbean. Uh -huh. We didn't have that. Right. So... Since Smart I, idea. So I said, you know what? I Let's can provide you. My family is originally from Barbados. Uh -huh. I can provide you with news out of New York that's relevant to our community. Uh -huh. So I did that for I don't know, a year or two or what have you, and then I moved on to something else. Uh huh. Interesting, because when I saw your picture on the website, Kelly, she doesn't let me lie. She's right here with us, beautiful Kelly Camacho. I, I said, he looks so damn serious in the picture. I said, oh my God, I'm going to have it. You know, but you know when, you know. Right. But you look so easy going and so down to earth, and you're very relaxed right. and very mellow. You don't you don't talk very loud. You just kind of whisper. Yeah. But you hear me though, right? Eh? I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> but I, I, you know, you're very, very, very soft. Now, 2004, you joined the CBS to work in the satellite distribution right. outlet in Connecticut. In correct? Connecticut, worked in Stanford, Connecticut. We basically distributed um, sports. Speed, uh, Speed Vision, which was a racing show, mm -hmm. NBA, games, um, History Channel, A&E, all of that. Okay. So we sent them out to or everybody to watch the program. The program would come in. We would Q QC it, make sure that the commercials were correct, and send it out. Nice, nice. Now, let's talk about Enlacena. Enlacena. Putting all this work together. Enlacena. How do you do it? I want to know from A to C. I want to know the process. I want to know the challenges, the obstacles. The only obstacle. I'm here to hear it. The only obstacle is there's not enough time. There's not enough time. Do you do you sleep at night? A couple of hours. That's all you sleep. Mm -hmm. You don't have time, literally. Because my mind is always going. So I have yeah, to think about but what about your rest? What about your health? What about your I'm, love life? I'm fine. Okay. Something I'm, suffers, but we won't get into that. But we're not gonna <laughs> get into that. But well, I think we have to sacrifice. So talking about the like, escena. In La Sena. How In La Sena was formed? Yes. What happened was, I was actually working on two shows. Correct. I was working on an English show called What's the 411 uh -huh. with Ruth Morrison. Uh -huh. And I was working on a show called Capasa New York. Capasa New York. With Sandy Bertola. Right. Colombian, African American. So I was doing both the shows at the same time. Uh -huh. And when I came to America, I knew nothing about anything Latin. I, have, I think the only Latin person I met, they were Portuguese. They were even. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Latin. So I liked doing both shows. I said, well, maybe those shows should combine. Right. They weren't interested. Uh -huh. So um, when both the shows kind of dissolved, uh, What's the 411 did R&B, they did Destiny's Child, Boys to Men. We were doing all the high-profile stuff. Right. Capasa, oh, New York profile, I like that. was all about Latin culture, mostly Colombian. Uh -huh. And... Um, so then they, both those shows kind of dissolved. I said, okay, I'm going to do my own show. It was called On the Scene, which, was, which is what you got before. Right. Which followed the same vein as What's a 411. So we did fashion, we did music, um, theater, everything, but it was Afrocentric. Right. Um, 
And then I connected with um, a Dominican producer and through him, I started you know, getting more involved with more Latin stuff and I created In La Cena. Okay. From that, I created the segment. I used to do segments for um, his show called Entre, Entre, Entre New York Okay. which was a Dominican show. And we used to go back and forth between the Dominican public and New York doing segments. Okay. Bring him more mainstream segments for his show. Um, after about two years, I branched out on my own and started doing in La Sena, which was mostly red carpet stuff, um, mostly Dominican. Then I branched into Puerto Rican. Nice. Now I'm doing Colombian. You kind of a little so bit I started cover, spreading just out, spreading out, spreading out a little bit. Smart move. Um, if you ask me. But then what I also noticed was. I regard myself as second generation, third generation West Indians that are outside of the Caribbean. Okay. And that's the same thing with Latinos. One foot in the Latin world, one foot in the um, Hispanic world or Spanish speaking world. Mm -hmm. And um, there was no, there was nothing for them in terms of, in terms of content. Uh -huh. I so hear you. I started delving in, we do a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of English and do a combination of the two at the same time. So you have that Spanglish, as they call it. Spanglish, I love it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys in the control room, um, I want to thank Drew, Taylor, Malik, Men of My Dreams, <laughs> Gloria Messer, and Dean Lauren. You guys can pull it off. Uh, I want to show a clip from uh, his website. I think you guys can just let me know when you're ready, but I want to take a look oh. very nicely. And I was checking, when, whenever you guys are ready, just let's, let's bring it on. There you go. There you go. We can forget, we can get rid of the, the lower thirds, guys, because it's blocking my view. Click on the right, the right um, screen, where it, has that? Yeah, we can, I want him to scroll down a little bit okay. to see what we have. It's quite a menu. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of diverse. You do, a, it is a, it's very diverse. Okay, and that's a little rough, the scrolling down, Gloria. Whatever you do, you gotta make it a little smoother, baby. Jesus is in the house too, and Kelly. I have all these people coming in. I think if we can go back again because that's a little too slow, and we went to black, and you're coming back to me again. That's okay, guys. You can come back to Mama. If we're gonna hurt, <laughs> if we're gonna suffer, I don't see the point. So having all this um, host, I, I was checking like every everybody has like different backgrounds coming mm -hmm. from. It comes the musical theater or the models. Right. Very um, nice. My thing is, um, a lot of people are trying to get into this world of television and what have you. Yes. So um, it's a two-way street. I can help you kind of right. we'll work, together. work together and you can you know, go after what you want and vice versa. Sure. Um, I've had you know, people that worked in the financial world. I've had models. I've had cooks. Right. all kinds of people and I basically train them I train them how to be comfortable in front of the camera right, how right. to write your script how to do your research mm -hmm. after you've done your piece you write a little blog about it because that helps you in terms of okay what did I learn what information when I have to do my next piece right. how do I do my research so you know what kind of questions to to look for right. and um they, you know, I have some people now that are working on Telemundo. Some are working nice, on yeah, I was, I was checking. I was, I was so, which very is fun. impressive. You know. You should be very proud of yourself. Truly, honestly, you can communicate. I mean, teaching, I don't think it's such an easy job. Well, it's, you do it through osmosis. You have to, sh sh if I can do it, I can't really show somebody else to do it. So right. they know that I can do it, and then I teach them through them practicing and actually going out in the field and doing it. And sure, and just keep doing and it. And keep doing and it. And I think one of the most important things that I have learned is not to be afraid to make a mistake. No, don't be afraid. We can always cl you know, clean up in the edit. <laughs> yeah, editing, but when you go live, I don't know how much we can clean, but uh, hey. Well, well, we take precautions for we, that. We so. talk, we, we do what we do. We're getting your profile. You have a very good profile, Anthony. Thank you. Very nice. Now. Uh, in terms of producing your work, what's the biggest challenge? What's the most difficult thing for you on a daily basis? And there needs, there needs to be five of me. Say that again? There needs to be five of me. Five, because you'll have no time. Because I, there's some places I, need, I want you to need be. You need to be and you can't. But I can't be, so. Okay. And because I like doing what I do. Right. I mean, I shoot, but I don't have to, but I like to shoot. Right. I like to direct. If I have to be on camera, I can do the on camera. Because you, you're, yeah, you're an expert in cameras. You know it's a good shot. Now, let me ask you.